Hello, my name is Mark. I've spent over 20 years working with the Army and the Department of Defense. It's with deepest regret that I come to say that I cannot support the Republican candidate this year. He lacks strategic leadership. He lacks strategic vision. He puts himself above the Republican Party. He puts himself above the country. He claims he's done much for our country. I always get scared when somebody says, I have done something. He has done nothing. What good has come has come from people who have done good things in spite of him. The economy was good when he inherited it from the previous administrations. And the economists will tell you it takes two or three years for any policy changes to have a good effect. We're in a crisis, a crisis of our political health, a crisis of our physical health. If he had strategic vision, when he took office in January of 2017, why didn't he check and see if the coverage for better medical supplies to handle during a pandemic? He had three years to get the supplies together and be prepared. That's how he didn't indication of no strategic vision. He claimed he rebuilt the military. Those of you who are in the military who have watched us, there is nothing to be rebuilt. We had a strong military he inherited from prior administrations. We had the most modern military in the world. He didn't do that. Look at the acquisitions. Look at the budget. There's a good, strong military today. It's not because of him. It's, it's in spite of him. In November, it's with deep regret that I will not vote for the Republican candidate. Any vote that's not for Biden is a vote for Trump. Two Republicans come together for call us rhinos. Accept the moniker with pride because we are the true Republicans. We are the party of Lincoln, or the party of Eisenhower, or the party of Reagan, who brought people together, who saw that we were equal, saw that we had opportunities for equal advance, for equal opportunity. Not all the policies worked out under Reagan or under Eisenhower. They had to build a consensus. Build a consensus as a part of our form of government. Ignoring Congress, criticizing those who criticize you. Personal attacks is not a sign of a good leader. A lot of building government policies, building consensus, walking across the aisle, and he criticizes John McCain as a rhino. John McCain was a selfless patriot who put country ahead of self-interest, country ahead of party, country and constitution ahead of himself. He was a public servant in November. We all need to vote for Biden. Stand up to the tyrant who has tried to seize our government and make us look like a Russia or a China.